Okay, we're back. That's the only problem with these cheap Chinese uh, head units. <laughs> the Bluetooth was battling my phone wanting to record it. I mean, battling the phone to wanting to use the Bluetooth instead of let, allowing me to record. But anyways, um, so here it is. I turned this into um, a nice cozy wozy camper. And, uh, you know, it's, I have it on the side. I have on the windows. You have window coverings in the back as well. I added this amplifier here to power the CB radio to make it louder. Okay. So I can uh, communicate on the road if there's no signal and hear the police and blah, blah, blah. And uh, it got me really interested. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to use the power from the uh, battery on the van on the Cyan XB, it's not a van, I call it a minivan, but it's a little box. I'll show it to you in a second. But I decided to put solar panels, I put 300 watts on the roof, and two inverters. One inverter coming from the battery of the car so I can charge the battery, the lithium ion 100 amp hour battery um, while driving, because I get 20 amps from a battery charger for the lithium ion battery and um it worked out better than a dc to dc uh, converter because i didn't want to risk any issues with the uh, dc to dc power converter or charger whatever they call it i'm sorry i'm new to this but um i just didn't feel comfortable having that connected to the car maybe i'm crazy but i wanted to control it so i you know if uh if it's rainy or if there's very cloudy i'll just plug in to the inverter on the car which is 1000 uh, 1000 watts and then I have the 2000 watt inverter which I'll show you um, connected to the 100 amp hour and it's amazing powering a fridge here fridge it's always on um, anyways let me show you the so here's the monitor I have two of them just in case and it's unbelievable. It's always at 100% in the day. I, you know, I have the refrigerator, never goes off. But this is all moving. So this inspired me. It inspired me to get rid of my Veloster. Hyundai Veloster was just a toy and the great on gas. And I got a Ram Promaster City. And that's what I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna transfer everything that's on this van out to the Promaster City. You know, and this one also, you know, the seats fold down. Right now I have a drum kit in here, which I'm selling today. But, you know, another, I have lights over there. And look, let me show you this. I think this is super cool. You know, it was all decked out, ready for me to go. If you're seeing flickering on that, because they're LED. And then I have these track lights, um, you know, with the colored lights and stuff. And it looks, looks messy here it doesn't really look that good but on the van it's going to be covered by the new ceiling so it's fantastic but yeah very excited about my van life journey and you know i'm not going to travel full time on it i'm just going to use it for work um i travel throughout the state of florida and instead of spending three four hundred dollars in a week on hotels i'll be staying for free in my van so i'm going to have plan to have shower and all that but i'll probably just be using a gym membership to shower at the gym because uh, i don't think there's any you know i don't i'm ignorant to this van life stuff but i don't think there's any place to park unless it's a camp ground where i can shower and it won't be obscene of course i'm not going to be naked <laughs> there's going to be shower curtains on the back doors that open up and things like that but um that's very exciting i'm very excited to be here with all of you van lifers and uh just comment and let me oh I'll show you um, real quickly what I'm doing for the insulation of the van. As I just showed you, that spray foam just isn't dense enough. I got the denser one, which causes problems problems when it expands, but I'm going to be using this polyfill, which is, um, it's, it's uh, it can only catch fire at four or 500 degrees, so it's pretty uh, fire retardant. It's polyfill, you know, very economical five bucks for this bag of 16 ounces and I got at Walmart if you want that polyfill foam I paid nine dollars for this, the same thing at a uh, or actually seven dollars at the Home Depot here's only 388 so I'm gonna use a combination of polyfoam in this to fill up the space economical 
and then I'm going to use this uh, tape like they use on the kill mat which is uh, the HVAC duct sealing tape around the uh, the whole thing's gonna look like as if I had a uh, um, kill mat but I'm also thinking there's these yoga mats really cheap yoga mats at the dollar store I'll use that and then go over it with this because that's basically what a kill mat is and I'm not spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars okay we should call this uh, the van life thrifter <laughs> well uh, yeah pose any names you suggest I should call this channel but I don't know if I could change the name afterwards but uh, van life thrifter thrift thrifter van life or cheap van lifer <laughs> something like that anyways hopefully you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe share it with everyone on this uh, I'm on this journey and uh, let's see what happens oh plus uh, I'm gonna have security cameras all over the place which is super cool anyways talk to you later